All right, so here is the breeder tank. The top one and then the bottom one's still leaking. It's got water, it's holding water, um, but it is leaking a little bit. You can kind of see from the cement blocks that it's wet. So here is the sump. And um, so basically each tank um, has its own, I guess, what do, you, what do you call it, an overflow, right there. Um, so in the back, I'm not sure if you can see this, let's see here. Yeah, um, each tube, or each tank has a tube running down into the sump. So this one is the top, from the top tank, and then this is the bottom. Oops, that's all right. This one is supposed to go straight into the sump, but since it's not really draining, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, so yeah, water gets pumped up from a pump underneath here, and then it goes through this hose up through here. And then the slits let the water go through and then down there, and then it makes its way to my wet-dry. Basically this is what's in there. It's got several layers of um, media, filter media, mechanical filter media, and then I just drilled a whole bunch of holes. And I don't know if you can actually see this, but it, it has like this rain effect under on the other uh, yeah you can kind of see it here and then this is where all my biological filter media is going to go um, but for the time being it's just that it's a uh, scrubby that I got from the dollar store so yeah, that leaks down into the sump, and then the water pump underneath gets, or sorry, the pump underneath pumps water back up into both tanks, in theory. Um, I currently have this one off, because this one pumps to the bottom tank, and since the bottom tank is leaking, um, I just have it turned off so that all the water is getting pumped up to the top tank. So, there you have it. I'm probably going to find a way to um, make this look neater, but for the time being, um, I believe this is pretty good. Uh, yeah, so there you go.